So we're fans back at uh, football. That's what it's all about. That. There might only be half of them here for the Yellow Army in full voice, as you can hear. United kicking from right to left, so they will attack the away end, normally the away end, because it's all home fans, of course, and get us underway here at Playmore on Saturday afternoon on official to UFC TV and official to UFC radio. Here's Ben Whitfield down the left-hand side, early doors, balls the ball back towards Conor Lemonhaven on the corner of the penalty area, and conceding another throw, 15 yards closer to the corner flag, left-hand side for Wrexham. Elliot Durrell there wins another one. Into the box, scooped away by Shering. It's a neat little back header. It's a beautiful little back header from Mesa Hall into the path of Connell Lemonhay Evans, who switches it beautifully to the left hand side. Whitfield's got some space now. Can he attack the defender, Ben Whitfield? Decides to go inside, cuts inside. Whitfield will get a chance to shot and scores! Early goal for Torquay United in front inside five minutes. Wonderful, wonderful move from the back. Mesa Hall, fantastic little back header, cushion back header into the path of Connell Lemon Evans. Lemon Evans, beautiful diagonal crossfield ball. And then uh, Ben Whitfield doing the rest, the rest, dragging the defender inside and driving the ball low in the bottom corner. Uh, which is good to see, so um, yeah, hopefully this will come in right. Andrews with the corner, it's driven up towards the centre circle. Player wrestled down there, deflected over the top. United want a penalty, they've got a penalty. United want a penalty, I'm not, I'm not sure where... <laughs> I'm not sure whether it was for the initial challenge. I mean, certainly there was a bit of wrestling going on in the centre and one of the United players was wrestled to the ground, but United have got a penalty. Um, whether the referee thought perhaps he should have given the penalty the first time and then when he had the opportunity to give it the second he gave it, I don't know, but Scott, uh, Scott Simpson has given United a penalty. It will be swung in from the, the uh, left-hand side for Wrexham. Plenty of bodies in the goal mouth. In towards the penalty spot, nodded on oh. at the near post. And then there are Wrexham straight back into the game. And how many times, how many times are you going to say, you've got to get a man there? It's uh, Vassell at the, uh, at the near post, really unchallenged from six yards. So, 2-1, played less than 20 minutes. We said it had the makings of a decent game, didn't we? Yeah, There's the ball towards the edge of the penalty here. A little bit too much from Conor Lemon at Heavens, who does well to win it back, plays it to Main in the centre and the uh, edge of the penalty area. And he does well to turn to Main. Back to goal when he received it. Turned away to his uh, right hand side inside, tried to whip it inside that near post and was uh, got a yard and a half wide. And um, Rex McGinn have cleared to halfway and United will regroup with the Jake Andrews throw to Randell. Skips the ball through to Danny Wright, who kind of tried to drag it to Conor Lemon Hay Evans and didn't manage to do so and presented Wrexham with a chance. And here's Bickerstaff, there's some space. Oh, a little nibble there from Hall. Play on, says the referee. Oh, my word! And um, just for a moment, Kerr stood off and Cameron stood off and allowed Bickerstaff to run at them. Steamrolled. <laughs> <laughs> Very few goals about this afternoon in the National League. We'll have all the half times from there and the rest of the afternoon's fixtures for you in the interval here at Playmore. Full time from the National League and the standings at the end as well. Balling towards the Torquay box, headed away firmly, nodded down neatly, chipped up into the box. There's oh. Vassell and needed to get a thicker contact on that on the penalty spot and he just scooped it up into the arms of McDonald. Uh, and United have obviously now again started to look at exploiting that space down the left hand side. Ball out towards Aaron Nemain. Aaron Nemain, I'm sorry, he's never going to win a header against the centre half. It's just not happening. And that's where Aaron Nemain wants the ball in front of him. Plays the ball out to the left hand side to Whitfield. Left edge of the, court, of the penalty area again. Where else? Whitfield goes inside, driving across the goal. He did try and drive and get a deflection off, off it. it was, uh, nobody in. Ball four again towards the edge of the United penalty area. They played their way out of the danger. Scooped it out towards the right hand side. Chase on for Connor Lemon and Evans. Good chase against Vassell. Forces Vassell back, and Vassell, I don't think, got a call from one of his teammates <coughs> and didn't know how much pressure he was under. And in the end, gave United a cheap throw. Taken to Aaron Namain. Namain chips it up. Was looking for Danny Wright. It might come to Whitfield. Whitfield drives it. Oh, he's off the line. It's still not away. It still might come. United trying to get in there. It was Namain trying to uh, poach in the six yard box. And that seemed to take an age to come down, and it almost dropped under the crossbar and was headed off the line. The way United plays sometimes with the midfielders swapping over, you sometimes end up with an overload on one side. <laughs> Aaron Domain absolutely flattened in a clash between two centre halves. Now you know he's never ever going to win that challenge, but um, 
Wow, we got sandwiched. He did. It was um, it was record who was it was record who was back there. Uh, it was Harris that came in on the sort of backside. Namain <laughs> bravely went up for the challenge because he's never going to win it. <laughs> No, it was actually Thomas that was down there. I thought it was I thought it was record that was was down in the challenge, but it wasn't. It was Kwame Thomas. Hartlepool one, Boreham Wood one. Another late first half goal there. <coughs> All ricochets nicely for Lemon Hay Evans, who plays it out for Ben Whitfield. Left hand side in that streak of sunshine on the plain more pitch. Tacks the corner of the penalty area. Whitfield, will he go inside? Plays it square. Lemon Hay Evans hits the post! Oh. Deflected, I'll give for sell credit because he threw himself at that effort. Whitfield had done the hard bit, teed it up for Lemon Hay Evans, and Vassell just leapt in at the right moment, got a boot on that, and it came off the base of the post. Ball up towards the edge of the United penalty area. Oh, it might fall. Oh, that's a good saving challenge there. It was Sir Fraser Kerr, I think, wasn't it, who got back there? And the uh, play more faithful on their feet. So Wrexham, all in red, will play from right to left in the second half. United, yellow shirts, blue shirts, white shorts. United with McDonald in goal. Hope they win to this afternoon. Fraser Kerr in, in what effectively is a back three for United. Jake Andrews retains his place for Dean Moxie and, and, and really is playing more of a a left-sided midfielder than uh, a left wing back. Early chance for Keller to, Kelleher to get a, a back heel in there and try and set Wrexham going with something. Here's Luke Young. Back to Harris in the centre circle. Harris out towards the left-hand side. And then in on Asa Hall. Play on, says the... Uh, on the... Lemon Evans, rather. Play on, says the referee. Out to Whitfield, left-hand side, who... Well, the telegraph where he was going to go that and played it straight into the <coughs> calves of James Hortsfield, of the, the lone striker, and even the, and the main as well in a, in a more central role. Here's Hortsfield trying to get down to the byline, get the ball across, does so. It's watched by Shering, stands up well. His record gets the ball back in field. Darrell with a chance to go for goal, curls one. It was never really troubling. Sean McDonald and it curled three or four yards wide, and because Umra was trying to uh, back in a little bit and, and hold the ball up. Now here comes Whitfield, away from his normal position, cuts inside Whitfield, wants to get it on his right foot, does get it on his right foot, and um, eventually hit a very very good shot with the outside of his left boot that was curling the right way, but it was always going too high and, and curled over the t Right now, United trying to work it into the penalty area and have done, and here's Randell inside. That's a penalty. Be. Must be a penalty. Oh, my God. The referee giving a goal kick. That was more of a penalty than the, than the one we got. There is no way. There is no way you're winning the ball from there. It's actually... It, it, it's a corner. It's, it is a corner, but... Wow. <clears throat> Either that was a fabulous tackle, which it would have had to have been because he was lunging in from a couple yeah. of yards behind, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. It was a last ditch. Anyway, corner United. It's got the crowd back into it. Up towards Cameron. Oh, my word, and that was dropping under the crossbar. In actual fact, Shering wanted that left for him. Shering was coming in behind and had the better header, but Cameron kind of looped his header up, and um, Dibble had to kind of punch it over his own bar. Substitution for Wrexham. Bickerstaff, I think, is the man going off, is he? Bickerstaff is off. We heard that through the effects microphone. Anthony Jeffrey is the man on. There's the free kick into the box. Oh, Sean McDonald's got to get that if he's going to get there. Had to come and claim it. Didn't get there. Somebody's down on the edge of the penalty area, still trying to get the shot away. That one's gone wide. And you know that again, that's that's the conditions there. Sean McDonald decides to come and get it. Once he's committed himself, he has to come, gets the punch to it, 
did well to retreat quickly as well. United doing well to force Wrexham back. Harris, the skipper, turns inside. Good pursuit from Connell Lemonhaven. Square two, record. United just push a little bit deep at the moment. Here's Jeffrey, left hand side. The ball across the face of goal. Chance for a effort on goal. Um, Pretends to throw in dangerous territory. Yusuf gets down the left hand flank, has support from Jeffrey and record across the centre. Diving header away by Lemon Haven to back in his own uh, defensive six yard box. Still a chance for an effort up towards the back post. And Connor Lemon Haven's was it about well, Whitfield, I think, was at the back. Was it in the end? Lemon Haven's originally with the uh, header away. There was Andrews at the back post. No, it is Wrexham's throw on halfway. <coughs> so just working their way into a spell of possession again, as they did midway through that first half. That's the throw. United defend it well first, but a lot of red shirts there for a moment. It might come to record who drives the ball low. And through the legs of Shering. No, I just feel that United may be dropping off a, a fraction, allowing Wrexham to come onto them. Maybe it's part of the game plan. Maybe they think that one of those, by, by uh, drawing Wrexham onto them, there's going to be that little bit of space in behind. Well, two United players clash. The main comes off the worst there, Shering and the main. And eventually between them, they win it. Now here is Aaron the main, facing the right way. Gets an elite little one-two. Cuts inside his man. Got the one-two off of Harris. Sent the ball out to the left-hand side. Whitfield, if he can control that, does control it well. Edge of the penalty area. Now Whitfield, does he have the avenue across the centre? It might come from the goal. It's deflected and into the back of the net from Lemon Hay Evans. It was Harris, I think, was it who got back then? It was um, Horsfield, I think, who threw himself into the shot. But Lemon Hay Evans converts the chance from close range again. And United have done exactly what they, we said they needed to do, was get themselves a footing back in the game. A Notts County 1, Woking nil. 80th minute goal there for County. They'll be creeping into their room, um, challenging spot as well with a couple of victories. Good chance there for oh. <laughs> um, a player to get in behind. It was Yusuf, I think. McDonald's come out of his area. Not, not sure why not he was out quite there. Quite sure what he's doing. But again, it's the it's it's the it's the same. It's the same problem that, you, that United should have got. It's the same problem that uh, McDonald has got. It's a Wrexham free kick, dangerous position. Can they get themselves right back into it? Ball chipped up towards the centre of goal. And there's nobody there apart from the man in green. Sean McDonald jumps and retrieves. And um, safety for United. That's what he's been trying to do for the last few crosses into the box is actually catch it. This time at least he got it. Well, that one was right under the bar, <laughs> dead centre of the goal. And he was able to retrieve... Ball to the penalty area. It's a strange header from Umara, but it's got Whitfield in, and Whitfield's shot is uh, saved well by the advancing Dibble. And um, <coughs> it was actually it was actually a back header, wasn't it, from uh, Vassell? who's had a terrifically good game. Thurrell looked interested, but has wandered away now. Unless he's a, a decoy, is Young right-footed around the wall, wasn't far away, it was curling, and it was curling, and it curled just beyond the post. Placement rather than power. Ball in towards the penalty area as Sutton get a fourth and Kerr is caught there and that's a great challenge. Great challenge back by Cameron was that coming back. Kerr was just caught in possession for a moment. Rather stood on the ball, almost let Yusuf in and then Cameron coming across with a terrific challenge. Just volleys it away, neatly placed into the Wrexham dugout. Throw to Wrexham right hand side, mid one side the Torquay half. Lovely turn by Darrell, had a really good game for Wrexham this afternoon. Been at the threat of everything and there's a chance for him. And he's crashed that one into the uh, side netting. Good run, went for the return pass. Cameron again across. In fact, I think it hit Stanchion, did it at the back of the, um, at the, back of the goal, but um, good effort. Still 
O'Connell Lemon Havens announces the IAW accountancy man of the match. Ball shipped into the United penalty area. Got to be dealt with. Header on there from um, Kelleher, I think, who was a long way forward. We'll wrap this one up. Full time scores and a look at the league table as well. There's the ball into the box, nodded away from the edge of the six yard box. Oof. It was a good rising drive from um, Darrell. And, um, not too far away, to be fair. No, for, uh, for uh, Randall, is going to propel one into the box, is he? No, it's a nice little turn, though, by Umra. Randall into the corner. Back for Umra again. And there's the full time whistle. It is another three points, another victory for Torquay United.